Hi, my name is Jim Green, and I'm a gunsmith. The name of my shop is Gunworks in the town of Harrington, located in down East Maine. Well, today's video is going to be a little departure. What I wanted to tell you about is a pretty neat new uh, series on TV, National Geographic, called Lords of War. This past summer I was called and asked to be a part of the cast. So I want to show you a couple of video outtakes that Nat Geo said would be fine for me to show you on this video. Um, had a lot of fun getting to shoot a lot of antique weapons. Uh, getting to shoot some of these machine guns and little odds and ends that basically I've never seen outside of a museum before. So it's been a lot of fun. It's been pretty interesting. And believe it or not, some of the days are actually a little bit grueling. So let's start off with this video clip of firing a full auto HK-51K. Now, model HK-51 doesn't actually exist. Basically what that was is some gunsmiths here in the U.S. decided they were going to build a short little full auto version of a full-size G3. This thing's a lot of fun to fire. Basically what they do is they, they take a G3, they put a shorter barrel on it, and the MP5K forward end on there, and this thing is awesome to shoot. I had a heck of a lot of fun. All right, you ready? Hang on to it, let her rip. There we go. You can see the, oh. That was awesome! Ah! Ah! So when you see those big fireballs and those huge rings that come out of the muzzle of that thing, that's what I have to shoot through. Now, does that make it an effective close-end combat weapon? No, not really. Because once you squeeze the trigger, the whole world disappear disappears completely behind a big ball of fire. What that is is a really nice party popper. <laughs> so thanks for watching this little short video clip. And make sure you tune in 9 o'clock on Wednesday nights to National Geographic Channel, the TV shows called Lords of War.